I'm going to talk about pre-multiplication and go through a simple list of do's and don'ts. Let's just zoom in a bit here. So what I've got is a simple animation of a ball moving quite rapidly. Okay, across the street scene. There's the street and the shadow has been achieved through a simple multiply. Now the ball in common with most 3D or most rend renders from 3D applications has been three, has been pre-multiplied. I've I've animated the ball uh, to give us some edge artifacts, some edge blur here, and some of the things that I want to talk about are more visible if if there's a little bit of indistinctness to the edge uh, like you get from a blur. So that's a pre-multiplied ball. I'll show you the one that hasn't been pre-multiplied. You see, you get a horrible edge. So what we need to do is to add a pre-multiply after it and your problems are cured. Okay? So rule number one, if a if you lay a, 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 a foreground over a background, that foreground must be pre-multiplied. That's rule number one. Now let's go back to our pre-multiplied, our ready pre-multiplied ball. I'm going to show you what happens if I add a pre-multiply to that. In other words, I'm pre-multiplying it twice. Okay. Now look what happens if I activate and deactivate that pre-multiplication. With it activated, I'm badly affecting that edge. I'm darkening the edge. And that transparency on the edge is disappearing. So rule number two, do not pre-multiply a file twice. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is change the color of that ball. Now you'll notice something. What I'm also going to do, I'm going to make sure I only affect the R, G and B and not the uh, not the alpha. So uh, you'll notice that it's changing the uh, background of the ball as well. It's, it's, it's making our file look perfectly horrible. Now what we need to do in order to deal with that is add an unpremultiply before and add a premult after. Bingo. Okay. So you see now that color change is only affecting the ball. So rule number three is if you want to change or manipulate the colors of your foreground you must first ensure that it is unpremultiplied. You do your color change and then after you've done your color change or your color manipulation pre-multiply pre -multiply it. So those are the three prime rules of pre-multiplication. They are absolutely unbreakable and there it is.